looking at different ways of evaluating limits. So third one is to conjugate. When it's a fraction, multiplying top and bottom by the conjugate might help. The conjugate is where we change the sign in the middle of the two terms. Remember, we always first check the easiest method, which is just by plugging in. So we're just going to make sure the plugging in will not work. So everywhere I see x, I'm going to put 4. And then I'm going to get 2 minus 2 and 4 minus 4, which is 0 over 0. So this is still an intermediate, so it's not going to work. So we have to rearrange. So multiplying top and bottom by the conjugate, we're just going to change the sign between the two terms. So we're going to multiply top and bottom by 2 plus the square root of x, top and bottom, 2 plus the square root of x. All right, so we're just going to distribute the top. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times radical x is 2 radical x. Negative radical x times 2 is negative. And then anytime you're multiplying radical times radical is whatever is inside, so it's just going to give you x. Don't, con don't do anything to the bottom, just leave it exactly the same. Let's simplify the top. The those cancel, and then you're going to have 4 minus x on the top. And on the bottom, that's what you have. And then cancel my terms. So you can see a 4 minus x on top and bottom, those cancel. You're left with 1 over. 2 plus radical x. And then now you're going to plug in the, uh, the value for the new Kotlin expression. So the limit as x approaches 4 of the function. So I'm going to put 4 everywhere I see x. And I'm going to get 1 over 4. So the limit as x approaches 4 of that function is 1 over 4. So let's take a look at some examples. So again, we plug in to make sure it's going to be, it's not going to work out. So if I see an x, I'm putting negative 10. So I can't take the square root of a negative number. Therefore, this is not going to work. So again, I conjugate. Remember, you just change the sign between the two terms. Everything else stays the same. It's going to be plus. And you do it top and the bottom. That way it doesn't change anything. All right, so then distribute the top, only the top. So the whole, remember, radical times a radical is just whatever is inside, if it's exactly the same radical. And then, I'll quickly prove this to you, let's say we had radical 4 times radical 4. I'm saying when you multiply the same exact radical, you just get whatever is inside, which is 4. Let's, do, let's take it the long way. Radical 4 is 2, times the exact same thing again, to still give you 4. So that's why that works. So that times 3 is going to be 3, and then radical x plus 19, minus 3, radical x plus 19, and then that's going to be negative 9 all over and then we're just going to leave the bottom without you multiplying it out let's simplify the top so we're going to have the three minus three is going to cancel and then we're going to have x plus 10 because 19 minus um, 10 write all the bottom out this is a listening check this is a listening check underline rationalizing the denominator slash numerator at the top of this page underline the words rationalizing the denominator slash numerator Possibly. And then now we're just going to plug in the value. So it's the limit of x approaches negative 10. So wherever I see x, I'm going to put in negative 10. So negative 10 plus 19 is positive 9 plus 3. The square root of 9 is 3. So 1 over 3 plus 3, which is 6. So the limit as x approaches negative 10 is 1 over 6. All right, let's take a look at another example. Again, plug in just to make sure that um, the easy way doesn't work. So I'm going to put 0 because it's limit as h goes to 0. And this does not work. So I'm going to do the conjugate. So remember the conjugate is you multiply top and bottom. Just change the signs between the two terms. Change the sign between the two terms. Plus. You get the top to the bottom. All right, let's go ahead and multiply this out. All right, so the radical times the radical is what's inside, as long as it's exactly the same. So just 4 plus h. The two middle terms will always cancel out, so I'm not going to bother writing. So the only thing left would be negative 2 times 2, which is negative 4, all over whatever is on the bottom. Okay, then combine like terms, or so simplify the top. So we have 4 minus 4, which is 0, so we have h on the top over the bottom. So I can cancel out the H's. This is a listening check. This is a listening check. Circle all the answers on this page. Circle all the answers you get on this page. And then the final step is to now plug in whatever it's approaching. So it's zero. So everywhere I see an H after zero, so that's just radical four plus two. One over two plus two, which is one over four. So the limit as H approaches zero is one four. All right, one last one. I already plugged in to check that it doesn't work. 
So again, we're going to conjugate, we're going to multiply top and bottom. Let's change the sign in the middle. So it's going 1 plus, 1 plus radical x. All right, 1 times 1 is 1. The two middles are going to cancel, so then you're going to have negative x plus radical x times radical x is just going to give you x. Keep the bottom the same. Now, just one quick trick to this. If they're not the same, you need to make them look the same, okay? So just factor out a negative, and that's going to leave it as negative 1 and positive h, because if you try and go back in the house, that's what you're going to get. Now it looks exactly the same, so you can cancel like terms. And then you get negative 1, 1 plus radical x. And then the limit as x approaches 1. So now you're just plugging in 1 wherever you see x. So it's negative 1 over 1 plus 1. Square root of 1 is 1, so negative 1 over 2. Let's practice. 